Duly noted, 5-15-2016. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. I'm back home at Catalyst Sport, and I wanted to show you a couple things I find on the toe touch that are common mistakes that people make where they might be creating some lumbar instability, some thoracic hypomobility, and possibly even some issues down into eccentric or stretching of the hamstrings, as well as uh, too much loading of the neck. Uh, on the toe touch, I've had a lot of people come to me with this type of toe touch where they keep the uh, hip complex pretty locked and they move directly through the lumbar spine and they get kind of locked up when the lumbar spine won't permit a full flexion and then they'll over flex the thorax because it tends towards uh, flexion anyway and then they'll have a full neck extension and wonder why they can't touch their toes. They think that they need to stretch their hamstrings, but actually, if you look at this position, the hamstrings are, are pretty maximally stretched here. They're, they're put into a position where they have to do most of the support and act as extrinsic or outside core muscles for the spine. Uh, these type of patients don't need hamstring stretching, most likely. They need more action of mobility into the hip, uh, more hip flexion, which will in turn uh, help to load the hamstrings in an eccentric position, but to support that with weight bearing forward. What I mean by that is, if someone's locked through the hips, you can encourage them on the toe touch to start just naturally pushing their buttocks backwards. And what you'll see is that my lumbar spine is a little, my lumbar spine is a little more supported by my core musculature that's countering that backwards movement. If people lack uh, core stability, they'll keep themselves pretty locked in the hip complex, and that's really not what you want to do. The hips are triplanar; they crave movement. And so you want to encourage movement in the toe touch through the hips. And so as you start to coach that activity, you start to encourage that backward movement. The patient may stumble and fall because they're not used to kicking the hips backwards. You may have to put them up against a wall and encourage them to touch the wall. For the secondary problem of the neck, if someone lacks the ability to core stabilize and has that neck extension that you actually want to discourage, you can put them down on the floor. If you put them in quadruped, you can put them into a rock position where their spine is relatively neutral, uh, not excessively extended, not excessively flexed, just nice and neutral. If you're pushing your weight against the floor, you can have them do some basic nodding in a hip flex position. This encourages the neck to move into flexion, this position here, which will stretch the posterior elements. What you want to make sure they don't do is this. Don't let them curve the thorax because that's what they're already doing on the toe touch anyway. Try to discourage that and try to get them to know what it feels like to stretch the back of the neck. Now, if you want to progress that to a more multi-segmental flexion like a toe touch, you can encourage a cat camel where you have them tuck the chin and then flex the thorax and the lumbar spine together as a unit. But you want them to first flex the neck and then go up. So they learn what that movement's like. To encourage hip flexion, you can get them to sit back as well for that multi-segmental flexion. And you'll see that that's the action you want to have during a toe touch, multi-segmental flexion. You put them back into the toe touch coaching app and you have them bring the hips back, then inter-segmental flexion through the lumbar spine, the thorax, and chin to chest to go palms to floor. Remember, it's not a quality toe touch if the hips aren't moving backwards and they're just moving through the lumbar spine like this, but the neck is extended. That's actually a compromised system. Some people think they have a solid toe touch just because they can reach the ground. I beg to differ. I feel like it needs to be a multi-segmental flexion that's encouraged between the hip complex, between the lumbar spine to the thorax, and then through the cervical spine. Keep a lookout for these type of things on the toe touch and what you'll find is that you'll encourage mobility anchored with stability for the lumbar spine. Don't make the lumbar spine your prime mover. Dr. Kathy Dooley, I'll see you next time.